Hey there, kid. Sit, relax, and have a drink or two. Well, let's see. P-Town Radio, Portland's last bastion of upcoming starlets and has-been actors. We played the hits before they became hits, banking on fresh faces to make us rich. It seldom worked. My show, Champagne with Charlie, was by far the biggest draw and the station manager, Mr. Benson, knew it. I got my own private office and our program manager, Julie, moved in with the pencil pushers and bean counters. The place was purchased a year after the train stopped running at the station across the street. Benson got a real cheap because of the location. A good deal turned the cheapskate on like nothing else. I only wish a fellow would have looked at me the way he stared at his pocket change. Well, I would appreciate it. Fair warning, though. The place always had a dark tinge to it. Late at night, I swore I used to hear and see things. Rumor has it that an ingenue singer, Gracie Grant, died of a heart attack during a recording session there. Drugs and alcohol were involved, naturally. The staff swore her soul stayed behind to finish her album. I'm not one to believe that nonsense, but I can't ignore the strange things I saw. Once, I think, I even saw Gracie wandering the halls. Anyways, enough tickling your fear. Find my things and there will be a reward in it for you. Later, kid.
Welcome back. Wow, you actually went and got my stuff? Hmm, look at that face. I told you I was a looker. Anyways, thanks for making this old broad smile. Here, take this. It's the same brand I used on my show. Top shelf shit, kid. Charlie isn't putting bubbled horse piss between her lips. I've had that bottle for over a century as a little memoir. But the memorabilia you came back with gives me closure more than this dusty bottle. And you deserve a nice little something for your troubles.